Hey, hey, I found a quick little piece on Quora I thought was interesting. So the title of the post was, Why are programmers so well paid even if that job is pretty easy? I'm also a programmer. Is it? It's easy. So that's the uh, title of the article. Let me just jump into it and I'll give you my comments. This guy writes, I was a lead developer for the kernel of a real-time operating system decades ago. And in a group conversation, an electrical engineer said, what you guys do is easy. I can code too. We all just looked at each other and walked away. Nobody laughed or called him an idiot for confusing writing some code with actual software development experience. To his credit, he never repeated the mistake. Ah, yes, this is an electrical engineer uh, misinterpreting uh, the complexity of coding. I like this guy's answer here. A proper answer would have been, sure, I can solder two wires together as well. That would have been good. Um, let me comment on that. Number one, there is a difference between uh, software development and writing code. Of course, when you're a software, when you are a software developer, you are of course writing code. But when you're creating apps and you're developing software from scratch, it's a whole different scenario than if you're writing just a bunch of scripts, simple scripts for uh, a system, backend system automation, and so on. Fortunately, though, because there is a perceived complexity in software development. There is that barrier to entry. People will run across the myriad of uh, courses out there and not understand, and they say, oh my God, code programming is hard, so then there's all these job opportunities for coders. What I want you to take away from this video is, A, two things. There's d many different styles and types of coding out there. They're all legitimate. They all have their place. Uh, most of it is worth quite a bit of money once you can show some experience. As I say over and over again on this channel, you want to get away from the notion of being a JavaScript coder or a C-sharp coder or a C++ coder or a TypeScript coder. You are a coder. You write code. You use whatever, whatever language is suitable for the jobs. I had a meeting yesterday with somebody uh, with regards to the mentoring program, links below, and they were just realizing after I don't know how long they've been writing code, that the code is just an option. It's just a tool set. And I mentioned in that meeting, as I mentioned before, when somebody says to you, you have to learn this language, this is the key, this is the future, that screams noob. When somebody says that, when somebody, you hear any video creator says, this is the one you got to learn, this is it, this is, the, this is the bee's knees, everything else is terrible, that screams noob so don't be a noob you want to be a master developer in time or a master coder in time uh, these are people who are very comfortable with the fundamental concepts and techniques in software and coding and so they can move from python to javascript to php to not ruby to c sharp to java whatnot without too much difficulty without too much difficulty why is that the case if you're new to software development? Because all these languages, they share 90% of the same basic concepts and techniques. The code looks a little bit different, but at the end of the day, it's the same stuff over and over again. Why are there so many different programming languages, you ask, if they're pretty similar? Well, under the hood, there's optimizations. So for example, PHP was designed and optimized to make building full stack web apps really, really easy. Uh, Python was designed to be very flexible. Uh, Java was designed to take care, to be cross-platform and to take care of me memory management, uh, which uh, prior to that was C++ and C, you had to do yourself manually, which is a big headache. Anyway, I could go on and on and on. Different languages are used for different purposes. So yeah, so uh, uh, simple code, anybody can do. But, but separates noobs from experience and professional coders slash developers is the ability and the understanding rather that the language is just a tool. The language is just a tool. I hope this helps. See you later.